Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia and today I have a September favorites for you. So last month I did not do a monthly favorites but I did do one the month previous to the last and I really liked that video. I hope that you guys did too and today I'll be sharing 10 different favorites that I've liked this month. So before I get into what these favorites are, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram. But without further ado, here are this month's favorites. So I'm going to be breaking it down into, I think, three different categories. Uh, beauty, skincare, fashion, clothing, and then just miscellaneous. So let's start out with fashion slash clothing. And I'm including this in here just because it's something that you wear. And one of my favorites this month has been getting back to wearing rings. Specifically uh, this ring I've been wearing a lot. I don't know if you can, if it will zoom in. There. And it's just a sapphire, a faux sapphire. But my birthday is in September so this is my birthstone and I just, I really like dark blue stones. I've also been wearing this one. I actually thrifted this ring. It's sterling silver with a aquamarine. I got it for five dollars. But I've been loving wearing rings. They just... I used to wear rings all the time, like one on each finger last year. And I just haven't been doing that. But I've been trying to get more into it and I really always just enjoy wearing rings. So that is my first favorite. Another, I guess, fashion favorite that I am currently wearing is wearing, uh, let me stand up, wearing uh, cardigans as tops. So just, this is a cardigan that I normally wear with the shirt underneath, but since it is kind of less super hot outside, I like to wear them kind of as long sleeve tops, and you just button them. I tuck in the front, I don't really tuck in the back. And I just think it's a nice way to wear cardigans that you already have. So I have this one, I have a all black one, an orange one, and I've just been liking how they look buttoned up so they kind of look like shirts. So that is my second favorite. So the third in the clothing fashion category are my favorite pair of dots that I've been wearing this month specifically and they are my pink Oxfords. I just, I love the color. I love how it looks with the green. I love that they're just a nice pop of color, that they're not as hot as wearing boots, but they still are more comfortable than wearing sandals. So I've been wearing these a lot. Okay, the next category is makeup slash skincare. And one of my favorites, like super favorites this month has been taking better care of my skin. So I have pretty, well, very dry skin, like extremely dry. It's dry in the winter, it's dry in the summer, it's dry all the time. So I finally have caved in and started wearing uh, a primer. I never used to wear primers. I just didn't see the point of it. Most of them are mattifying, which is not what I need at all. So I've been using this one which is not focusing okay it's the Tarte quench with the rainforest of the sea I got this as a gift and at first I didn't really feel much of a difference but it does make the makeup you know look less cakey and dry on the skin so I really really like this and I think I will actually buy it or another moisturizing primer once I run out of this and then this has been a not only monthly favorite but just a favorite lip combination for me for the past months since I got these two products so I actually mix these two together this is the the creme shop Permanent Popsicle Lip Juice Stain in the color Cherry Bomb. So this is a really red popsicle lip stain. So it looks really bright red. It goes on the lips and it sinks in right away. It smells like cherry. 
and it looks really nice by itself. It's a very bright red, but what I do is I put this on and before it finishes kind of setting, I go on top of it with the ColourPop Ulta Ultra Blotted Lip in Cloud Chaser, which is this kind of muted mauve, dusty pink color. I don't, this color. So I put this on, then I put this on, and it just is this really nice kind of soft, matte, but not drying lip combination and I just like it. It's kind of more more red and deep than this color but not as bright and in your face as just this by itself. So, because I don't like the blotted lip, ultra blotted, ultra blotted lip by itself. I do like this by itself but together way better. Okay, um, another makeup-y kind of product is Again, I've been trying to take care of my skin a little bit better, so I got these makeup sponges. Again, I am not really good at makeup. I just kind of do what I know how to do, and I've heard that applying makeup with a damp sponge really is helpful with dry skin, and it really is. So I have two of them. They're really cute, like this white marbled color and they are from a small company called Dark but uh, Dynamic Necessities small business they're really cute really soft I've been using them for a few days I like them I usually wear mineral foundation but when I do wear more liquidy foundations or for concealer really really good so next I think the last no two more items in the makeup skincare no three more items sorry three more items in this category i have a lot this is i mean finally this cleanser the vanny cream gentle facial cleanser dermatologist tested for sensitive skin this is so good i don't know how long i've been looking for a nice gentle but effective cleanser uh, this one's really good. Free of dyes, fragrance, uh, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, formaldehyde, other preservatives. It's even accepted by the National e Eczema Association. I mean, this is just so gentle, but so cleansing. I use this at night after I remove my makeup with the reusable makeup brows that I use. This cleans my face so good, and I... I just, I really like it, and I think it can work for almost everybody. I mean, except if you have more, like, stronger skin, you might need a stronger cleanser, but if you have sensitive skin, dry skin, this is really good. So, earlier this month, no, at the end of August, I dyed my hair green. Previously, I had a split orange and pink, and to remove the color is... Pretty damaging. Uh, so if you have processed hair, bleached hair, highlighted hair, you know that doing all those things is just not great for your hair, especially if you have like curly or wavy hair. It will kill your curls and waves or any texture that you have. This product by Shea Moisture, their Jamaican black castor oil strengthen, grow, and restore leave-in conditioner is what I swear by. So I mean, I've been bleaching, dyeing my hair for many, many years, and this is such a good product for chemically treated hair, for color treated hair, or damaged dry hair, or all of the above, <laughs> if you're like me. And it's so moisturizing, a little goes a long way. I've had this jar for a really long time, and I am finally close to finishing it. And it's just a leave-in conditioner. You Take a shower, wash your hair, put it in, put on any other styling products that you use, and you're good. I mean, it's really good, really moisturizing. If you have kind of thinner hair, it might be too thick or oily, but if you have dry hair and it's kind of thick, my hair's really thick, so this is really good. 
maybe don't apply it at your roots if you do get oily, but I love, I mean, I love Shea Moisture products, all of them, but this one's one of my favorites. And the last one in this very long category is not a specific nail polish color, just this brand in general, the LA Girl Gel Extreme Shine. So this is not going to focus. Okay, this is the, you know, the brand. And yeah, this color is one of my favorites. It's called Jaded, nice dark green, but this brand in particular is so good, very cheap, cruelty-free, they sell it at Target. I'm wearing another one of their colors, this is like this kind of grayish purple, but I love this brand. It's so good, opaque, dries pretty fast. I have a lot of different colors. I mean, here are just a few of the colors I've been liking this month. I've been liking a lot of nudes, so there they are. But they have bright colors, dark colors, any color. I wish I could buy all the colors, and they're about $6, I think. Okay, and I think this is the last item, but, you know, it's September. It's almost fall. It actually is officially fall, September 23rd, the day after my birthday. So, I've been wanting a fall scented candle, because in my mind, it is fall already. So, I got this. It's, what is it called? Golden Tail Candle Company, and it's 12 ounces of Virgo. And it's hashtag perfect harmony, apple harvest. And this, I'm giving it to you, like you can smell it, but you can't. It smells like apple cider, apple pie, like an apple or or orchard. It just smells like fall, but not like that pumpkin spice fall, which is also equally good but just a more crisp fresh fall scent and they make you know a scent for every different zodiac sign this one just says virgo reliable practical organized you know august 23rd to september 22nd i am right on the edge like last day of virgo but i'm still virgo and this is just such a nice scent but i also have a Another bonus favorite, but I have been really into making vegan banana bread. It's so good, so easy. It really is a good way to use your bananas once they're overly ripe. And it's, I mean, if I can make it, you can make it. So here is just a little piece of it. It smells so good. So I put chocolate chips and either walnuts or almonds in mine but you can put whatever you want in it. I will actually try to leave the recipe in case you want to make it. It's pretty easy. I'm almost certain you have all the products that are needed to make this apple, not apple, this banana bread. And I've just been making it at least once a week. It's very easy. It cooks in like 40 minutes and you've got banana bread for a whole week. And it's so good and such a good thing to eat in the morning with coffee. So that is my bonus favorite. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorites have been this month. Are you in the fall spirits or not yet? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next week. Bye.